Welcome to the Curious Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. It just seems like more and more trafficking and prostitution and scandals are coming out of the woodwork. You got Epstein. You got Diddy. Look, man. Power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Now, these men who are being brought up on these charges, they do not have absolute power. But this is just a taste of the corruption that power can they get They had power in their industry. They had enough power. Yeah, even Weinstein, you know? It's like... So imagine if they had more, what they would do. So uh, this guy, Mike Jeffries, he used to be the CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch. I just happened to have a picture of him, Jonas, for oh, people watching. Oh, yeah, 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 there you go. Mike yeah. Jeffries. Oh, yeah, He's he looks really clean. Uh, he's part of a criminal sex trafficking ring investigation by the FBI. Uh, basically, him and a couple other guys sexually exploited and abused young men at parties they hosted in the U.S. and around the world. Uh, so basically, they would take them, and under the guise of, like, you're going to be our next Abercrombie and Fitch model. <laughs> That's very mean. That's not uh, nice. th So then they would basically take them to a Diddy party. And then... <laughs> Their own ditty parties. Uh, look, let, let's keep it a buck. They got these guys in there, and they were like, we're going to give you a job as a model for our line, Abercrombie & Fitch. He left Abercrombie & Fitch in 2014. It's kind of a shame that he's still attached to it, but it seems that a lot of his Anytime crimes... Anytime they can throw a company under the bus with someone who did oh, something. Yeah, yeah. Like It's like, oh, you worked at Blockbuster in 2002? Like, oh, former Blockbuster employees? Like, <laughs> what the... But, uh, it, I mean, it seems like a lot of these crimes happened while he was still working for Abercrombie, as a lot of the male models were hoping to get work there. Yeah, I mean, then, I think that's the relevance. And but. then once he got him in there, he was like, oh, wow, well, you know, we got a lot of different applicants for this position. Maybe if you took your pants off. Yeah, they said it was like a casting couch situation, which is basically like a porno trope where it's just like, hey, come on in, sit on the couch. Oh, we have to test your skills. Like, it's basically that they're just like luring these dudes in and like, oh, we got to test your modeling skills all right jonas uh this is how does what does this do for you i mean how what is, what how does this whoa make, wait how does, whoa, how does, whoa how does this wait. make you feel is what i mean to say how awful you man feel? you know what here's the thing dude what say it the fact because i mean just all said. of all of this it needs the, to be said the weinstein the diddy the epstein the this guy i already forgot his name it's just wild to me because here's the thing. All these people are rich. So it's like they're just basically exploiting people who want to get rich. They are people who want to have like a modeling career or like whatever. Or I mean, some is just a fact of like, cause, I mean, somebody who wants a job. Yeah. Yeah. I, but I they want a certain that. kind of job. They want their own fame. Because like Diddy was like, come be in my video. Come be a star. This guy, this, this guy's like, come be a model. You know, the Epstein thing was weird because it was like, it was, that was a true like sex prostitution ring. It was just like rich people prostituting. Uh, Weinstein was like, hey, you want to roll in this movie? movie? It's when, when you have a lot of money, a lot of people gravitate to, to you because you control a lot of their money. You hire and fire a lot of people, man. You have the ability to make them make money. I mean, but I could be the same could be said for the HR at the HEB. <laughs> the, the guy working in the fiberglass factory, he's like, I got, you know, I can get you a real nice yeah, job. Yeah, bro, factory. I'm sorry. I'm not, look, if you're the shift manager at Taco Bell, I'm probably not going to take my pants off to get that job. <laughs> All right. So, so we're talking about people who are movers and shakers, lots of money, the opportunity to make lots of money. They're well connected. But this guy was brought up with three other individuals, uh, uh, just old men, 80 years old, 71 years well, yeah, old. But at the, I mean, at the time, yes, yeah, so at the time they were 70, 60, and 50, but like still, <laughs> still old. Yeah. But, but what's really interesting oh, about geez. all this is oh. like, I don't know if, like, I, I never shopped at Abercrombie and Fitch, but what I remember about Abercrombie and Fitch mm -hmm. is the real life models that worked in the store and would stand by the entrance. Like, you'd walk by it in the mall and there'd be like, Teenage boys like just wearing Abercrombie clothes and they're standing I don't around. Remember that? Yeah, wow. there was real was life era. people wearing their shit in the store. Wow! Like that was the whole like thing. 
And uh and like in their other thing was like they they only provided sizes for like like they didn't have larger sizes. They were very like discriminate towards um like smaller body types, you know, like they didn't have like a 2X. I don't even know if they carried XL to be honest. And yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. So a lot of clothing lines are just geared towards slimmer people and they don't want fat people wearing their clothes. Basically, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Only thing I remember from Abercrombie and Fitch is new kids on the block had a lot of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. What, that's not their song, though. What it's, song was I have Ab- no idea. You know what I'm talking about. Abercrombie yeah, yeah. and Fitch was in a song, though. Yeah. Wasn't it that song? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Song? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't. I didn't follow that type of music. No, but, uh, stop, John. Don't but, make me look crazy. No, it's. A, I understand what you're talking about. I, I'm not gaslighting you. I believe oh, it's real. I just don't know about I it. I feel crazy. Um, but like, I think it's. I think it's very disturbing because it's. It's some people. They want to be famous or they want to make money so badly that they will do anything, including like sexual favors or like whatever. Look, right, Jonas. Um, does but. Does that make the guys who are giving these opportunities for these sexual favors, does that make them the bad guy? If you walk into a room and somebody says to you that you can have this job or opportunity if you do A, B, or C, and you say no and walk away, okay, yeah, that makes them a bad guy. Yeah, I was going to say, is that wait, But I what? just feel like you could always just turn. Uh, yeah, but, but the, people yeah. are like. The pe- power dynamic. Well, I yeah, the, it's the power dynamic. And, well, and here's the thing. It's like, <sighs> if people also will be like, oh, well, like, if I just have to, like, pr- give oral to this dude one time to get what? ahead. Stop. Like, uh, women, men, whatever. I thought about it. And then, but then it's never just once. Like, <laughs> like. You know it's not one time and it's over. That's the truth, John. Like, I never got hit just once. Once they know that they're that you're times. willing to do that, then they're like, "Oh, you want another commercial? A. Hey. Oh, you want another commercial? Oh, you know, it's like they just want to be paid by sex to get the next hit, you know, or whatever." Okay, okay, so I I'm not trying to throw shade, and I already think is that this story has like a different type of feel to it than the than the whole Diddy thing. There's less people involved. It's not over quite as long a period of time. And plus, we're talking about men. And nobody cares about men's asses. Nobody cares. When man's butts is getting taken, nobody really cares. I mean, they just care now. I mean, we are caring right now. But I I just want to, I just want to, like, toy with the idea. You know, obviously, my heart goes out to the victims. But is there a way that that dynamic can occur and there be a symbiosis involved of what of like, this person providing certain acts and this person providing them with besides the fact that it's obviously a super illegal and this person provides them with opportunity and compensation i mean I say the closest thing that you run into that the is... Vince McMahon story. I agree. I... <laughs> wow. No, I... <laughs> no, um, no. It's like when you see like those those like y- young attractive women with like old dudes. Oh, Instagram models. <laughs> gotcha. Sure, but yeah. like they'll be like you know this dude's like eight. Like Anna Nicole Smith is the classic example of like she, she was she was like this young pretty girl like wants to be an actress like whatever and she's married to an 80 year old billionaire like so that that is a that's a symbiosis that we all accept well well only in the fact that she's doing it like who knows what her intentions are but if the intentions if if the man is Dumb enough to believe that she's like, oh, he she just loved me for being eighty, but she's she really me with for it. me. Yeah, and he's like, like I because. just happen to have a billion reasons why she loves me, and you know, or whatever. And maybe they were in love, but maybe. when you think, oh, she's like twenty six and he's eighty, like, bro, I I don't know how how he's sweeping her off her his her feet. He can barely get up on his feet. I mean, look, I I'm just okay. So this is this is me, Jonas. This is just me talking. I feel like myself, if I were put in that situation where a moderately to mildly attractive female person of power was like, you do this for me 
and I will do this for you. And, you know, we have like a, an agreement, obviously not legal. So it has to be under the table. I don't know if I would find problem with that. Like um, being a little piece of arm candy is perfectly fine for me. Well, right. It, well, you know? it's all about transactional, man. People do transactional stuff all the time. There are people who are married just because it works for them financially and they do not care or give a shit about each other. They, they, they can run life together, but like they're not together because they're in love at all. Yeah. It's like, it's a, it's, but like, is it, can it, it, will it end up causing a problem eventually? Eventually. I mean, but there's problems in every relationship. I mean, and it the just dynamics depends. of that, I, and it want... being a financial one, only makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very transactional. Humans have become more and more transactional. I think what that's only as the me? distribution of wealth has become more uh, lopsided, though. Well, yeah, it's just people are so hungry for money or power or whatever. They'll that's do, because there's no middle class. They'll do anything. Yeah, there's no such thing as a middle class. Yeah, you re- yeah, you're either broke or you're rich. Yeah, you either make 30,000 a year or you make 100,000 a year. <laughs> well, basically. So, anyways, man, I hope these dudes rot in hell for exploiting young men. I agree, Jonas, they- because if, when they've done wrong in their lives, uh, you know. Yeah. It's it's one thing if they're just like, "Hey, we're having parties, y'all want to come over and hang out?" and they did it and they weren't under the guise of like, "We're going to get you a modeling career." Like yeah. they, they just made the decision to come hang out at a sex party. I mean, they're grown. They can do whatever the hell they want. That's the but, thing. Yeah. And you could have just found yourself a nice young male prostitute at any bar. <laughs> you could have just done that. Any bar? Is that where they hang out? Yeah. But, but yeah, but instead they have to like, it's it's the it's the fraud aspect that, of like. It's the like, bait and switch. Yeah. It's like, oh, hey, do you want a model and clear? Oh, sex party. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. They're like, oh my God, that's not a modeling job. Well, close enough. That's not a modeling job. <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean. It's, <laughs> that's a penis, dude. Yeah, God damn it. I got tricked again. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah, I hope they rot in hell. So, uh. Yeah. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.